Heyo, Andy here, and I'm back with another product that I've done for, for you guys. I actually, I feel really bad, because technically, I checked to GitHub the other day, and <laughs> I made the documentation for this product in September 23rd, 2023, and evidently life got in the way, so I never released this product, which is a shame. And this is the Stream Up Game Lad. It's, it's a cool little game Game Boy effect for your stream where it goes into the, the, the Game Boy and then you can control your scenes in there and then it'll come back out and you can obviously customize it to how long you want it to happen for and stuff like that. So if you guys don't know what StreamUp is, it's a company that I founded with a bunch of incredible people where we just like making stuff for your streams uh, and this is one of the products that I made, Game Lad. Um, if you want to know all the documentation on how to install it and everything like that, it's all here but I will go through it on the video and leave all these links down in the description. Uh, just before we do get started as well, I just want to let you know that I do uh, commissions now. So if you want something like this making specifically for you, uh, you can go check out my commission link down below. It's just on my Duras page. You'll, you'll be able to fill it all out and I'll be back in touch with you. Uh, I've done two commissions so far, so you might be the third. Who knows? Three's the magic number as well. Uh, so we got, this works for stre uh, streamer bot and OBS, okay? So it'll work on the the alpha versions as well, uh, so don't worry about that. It should work on the alpha version of Streamerbot. Um, so I've got a OBS open just here with uh, just a blank scene and just something else that was just testing around with stuff. And my Streamerbot is on 0.2.8 and ready to go. Uh, we can download it from this stream up website just here, or you can go and support me at andylippy.co.uk as well. That's another way that you can get your hands on this. We've got different tiers depending on what. Um, product access you do want, uh, and Twitch uh, subs get save 10% monthly, or you save 10% annually. You can join there, or all the info's down below anyway. Uh, so get it downloaded. Even if you join on mine, you just download it straight from this website, because you'll get like access to it. You go to downloads, and it'll load up, and we go down to Game Lad, and you can press download just there, and you've got the documentation link as well. And there's a lot of other stuff that you can get here, so it is definitely recommended to join monthly because there's lots of different products out there. So once it's downloaded, you will have a folder that looks a little bit like mine, um, only a little bit like mine because I obviously have a lot of different um, kind of files from when I'm actually developing the, the the things and everything like that. So it'll look a little bit like this. Uh, you, all you need to do is go into download, make sure you've got this StreamUp OBS plugin, otherwise it won't work. And then next up, we'll install it into OBS. Open up OBS, go up to StreamUp, go to install a product, and then we can navigate directly to that uh, place we were before in the OBS install, open gamelad.streamup, and that should create a brand new scene just here. And it should look blank because everything's hidden right now. So don't worry about that. Uh, next up, we need to install it into StreamerBot. So we're going to go into the bot install folder. We're going to copy the... this only. You only have to do this if you've never installed a StreamerBot product into uh, StreamerBot before. Because we've got like a special library. You just need to copy this. Uh, and then we're going to go directly to wherever your... Um, Streamerbot folder is so mine's in my D drive because it's just hiding down there. We're going to go to uh, uh, streaming and then we'll go to software and then we're going to go into Streamerbot Alpha and you can just you just paste it directly in this Streamerbot folder just here. And when you come to run it, it will look a little bit like this. Uh, you need to make sure Streamerbot is shut. Uh, once it's shut, press retry, then it'll download the, the relevant file and put it in the correct location inside the streaming bot. Once that's done, you can open up your streaming bot again and we press import. In the import section, we just drag and drop game lad into there. Or if that doesn't work, you can double click to open it, open it in text edit, control A, control C, uh, close that down and then just paste that directly into there and it'll pop up just like so. Press import. And just like the other stuff that I've made, you just go to the settings tab here, right click on this trigger, press test, then that'll load a settings menu up, mine's put it on other screen. Uh, the OBS connection number, this is usually zero, you can check by going to the stream apps tab inside of um, Streamabot just there and checking what yours is set up as, but zero should be default. Choose where you want the animation to start on screen. Do you want it to come in from the left? Do you want it to come in from the right? Or do you want it to just be random and swap between the two? 
and how long you want the animation to last on screen for. Uh, so that's when it's gone full screen and then turned off. So you can adjust that yourself to whatever you want. This is in milliseconds. Press save once you're happy. So we'll press OK, close it down. And as if by magic, that's done a bunch of stuff behind the scenes to get everything ready. And then now if I go to main action and press test, so right click that test trigger, you'll see in OBS, we've got stuff happening. It looks really weird at the moment though. So you'll see it's like game lad inception, which is not really the desired effect. You want your camera in there or something like that. So the way that we do this is we need to use a plugin called Downstream Kia. This is by Exceldro. Uh, I'll leave the link down below, um, just as always. And select the stream up effects game lad scene in the bottom left there. And we just press the plus sign on the downstream gear and we just click it. That's it. If you're using a downstream gear already, you can have different layers by just adding new layers and stuff like that. But I've done a video on the downstream gear, so I'll leave that uh, linked below as well. So now if I go to my just chatting scene just here, what the downstream gear technically does is that actually means the stream up effects game lad scene is being displayed on top of every scene. So it's on top of this scene that you're seeing right now. So if I pull this back here and press test, you'll see, you can see me in the Game Boy, even if I change scene. Even if I change scene, it's still there. So I'm just changing scene between the different scenes and that is the Game Boy effect. This will stay on the screen for 10 seconds and then it'll disappear, which is super cool. It's a nice way that you guys can add any trigger so you could add it um as a cheer you could do it as a sub it's completely up to you so you can make revenue with this really nice and easy because i'm sure your audience will love uh, messing around with it and that's pretty much all there is to it obviously i recommend joining uh monthly because that helps me keep making this stuff and it gives me a bit more stability there's loads of stuff coming out at the moment because i'm going through all them old projects and bringing them all out and i'm working on a lot of new stuff at the same time so if this is your cup of tea make sure you are subscribed like the video and all that jazz share it with a streaming buddy and put your rock in with a stone much love